Yellow. Hello. Oh my God, what's my zoom? Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Let me adjust my camera here. All right. I see Daniel and Elsa. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? It's going, going. Professor, I have one thing to say. I couldn't submit my work through the canvas. I sent to your email. I don't know what's going on. I don't have any. Um, I tried even now before I joined to the Zoom. I started to, to they didn't let me, they did not allow me to submit the what work. What do you mean, not you, you you went into Canvas before, right? And you submitted some work in there? Yes, I did before. But remember, initially I called them and then I did uh, send the work to, to your email. And um, and even my Canvas that is showing, I have two works missing, but I sent to you. The other works I could submit, but the last one, this, I did not. I could. I am trying since yesterday. I couldn't, and then I sent to your email yesterday. Yeah, but okay. When you say you can't do it, what's what's going on? What's wrong? I do submit that look like this one. They said um, because I I cannot open uh, logging in my Canvas in this computer because whenever I try to log in, it says I am. Uh, it's wrong. My password and the username, and then they tried. To oh, you can't get it. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, let's see what you got, uh, Daniel. Let's see yours. Well, um, I also emailed you mine and tried to upload it, but like the other ones I sent last week, I'll say missing on there. 
I know I sent them in. It shows them as being sent in. Yeah. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the uh, I'm going to do it manually because usually I need to have something to grade, but I'm just going to do it manually. So don't worry about it. As long as you email it to me, I'll put it in there. Don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Thank so you. So just pull it up. If you can pull it up on your computer, then we'll take a look at it. Thank Welcome, user one. Hello. How are you? How are you doing, Michelle? I'm doing okay. How are you? Okay. I noticed that it was like, I don't know if my um, temperature thing on my car was faulty, but it was sixty-four. Yeah, it was warmer today. Was like, yeah. Wow. I was like, for real. Just nice. windows all day. I mean, classes it was, all day. Yeah. It was a nice day today. All right, Daniel, can you share your screen? Let's see what you got with that um, Excel work. You, you, uh, you want me to share my, hold on. Yeah. I'm trying to gauge the um, level of difficulty. All right. So what would you say in terms of the level of difficulty of answering the questions? I thought the questions were fine. Once you, once I learned, oh, am I muted? Once I learned how to do that drop down box the other night, it was easy to come up with the answers. You just hit the arrow and away you go. I might have them all wrong too, so I don't know. I, I can't really answer until you get back to me. All right. Um... So is this something that you were able to do before? Is this new for you or what? No, before I would have, I could probably sort the state. I didn't know how to get it to finely tuned where I, for the questions you mean or for what this chart here? Well, the let's, could you pull up the questions again? So I don't have them here. Um, I just did oh. the sheet that was on the on your chart today. I probably have the other one in here somewhere. Uh -huh. Trying to find it. I have no idea. Uh, practice PowerPoint. This must be it, right? No, it's not PowerPoint. It's Excel. Oh. The Excel question. That's part of the problem, then, right? Um, I mean, all your files should be in here, but I'm not seeing any Excel thing here. I got the answers here. Oh, okay. I think. You want to go to someone else? Like, what? What are you looking for? My uh, Excel. Yeah, I just want to. I want to see, see the question. Just kind of review the questions and then see what your answers were. Okay, so that would be my email. Okay. Oh, my word. I sent it in Word. Hold on. Okay, that should be it. Could you just zoom, zoom in on that? No, just hit the plus sign. No, leave the view like it was before. Yeah, but when I do that, it doesn't let me enlarge for some reason because I think I'm online. I don't know how my mind works, but I have to go over to the world one. Okay. Can you see that? It's too, it's too tiny. Can you see this? Yeah, but can you, it doesn't allow you to increase it? Huh? Does it allow you to increase the um, zoom slider? Okay, yeah. A, a bit too big. If you click the minus sign at the bottom right, okay, yeah. you can make it just a little bit smaller, just a little bit. Okay. All right, that's... that's all right, so how many people are from Massachusetts 
and what is their combined total annual salary? Right. So how did you solve for that question or the answer? I got 15 and 800, 1,200. How many people? 15. Okay, so yeah, so tell us how you, how you, how do you do that? I went into um, the sum up top on the top bar. And then I dropped that down and it got me into where I needed to be. If I could find a way that what you sent me is, I will go in there and show you. Hold on. Yeah, you don't have any Excel files in this folder you're looking at now. So it's got to be somewhere else. It's where All I downloaded it. Yeah. Hold on. I downloaded your form and I opened it on Excel. Hold on. Right here. This is it, right? Yeah. So I went in up under one of these things and dropped down uh, let's see, home. I highlighted these up here. And then I went, uh, what was it? No. Nope. You have to make this, maybe make your word a bit bigger. I mean, your Excel. Let me maximize it so that you see all the options there. Yeah, I got you're you're in my way. Hold on, let me get you out of the way down here. <laughs> so you can close that analyze data uh, that panel there. Yep. And then I went in here somewhere, hold on. I don't know which one it was, right here. And then I went filter. And then I got the drop down boxes. So I went in here, you said Massachusetts, I went into the state and I deleted the other three. And I just got Massachusetts right there. And then I just counted. One, two, uh, I know they're at the bottom somewhere, but you're, now you my whole, um, 15 of 31 records found right down here, right under payroll. Yep. And then I went to um, annual salary and that added up to 801, 200. And then on the other one, other question you asked, uh, I don't know where the question is, but once I got these drop down boxes, everything was easy. All right, so for this one, um, was this something you were able to do before now? No, absolutely not. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how much to bill you when we're done. That's why I'm asking. How much? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never wanted to look at this because right. I'm in sales and I want to see. You're going to bill for every new, every new information on there, right? <laughs> Yeah, that worked. With okay. the drop-down boxes, that's the best thing ever. Okay, let's let's uh, let's look at something else here. Let's um, undo what you just did, so you can use the undo button there. Okay, no, go back. You want to get the data back? There we go. Okay, so uh, you can take out the take out the um, headings. Take out the uh, what should I call it? Check out the filters. Just, just go back to filter and just click um, clear. Or oh, filter, just click on filter. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now click any part of the data and hit control A. Okay, just click any cell, control A. Okay. Now control A selects all the data you have. Now you see the kind of like the bottom right of your data, there's a little square box to the right side. No. So you, you lost, I can't okay, see. scroll down, all the way down, all the way I, down. No. Now you see that, you it's see right there, there no. right there. So click on that. That is your quick analysis tool. Click that. Okay. Now you see where you have, um, where you have, Tables, click on tables. Okay, 
Now, pivot tables, if you've heard of pivot tables, pivot tables are kind of like an, it's sort of an easier way to extract some kind of data. So let's give it a try. So click on pivot table, like the first one to your, yeah, no, the other one, the next to the right. All right. Nope. I got a happy trigger finger. Hold on, right here. Tables. You want the pivot table question mark, the first one? Yes, yeah. yes. So click up, you've got to click it. All right, so when you click pivot table, now it has this interface, it gives you some options. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to solve for how many folks in Massachusetts, right? And what's your annual salary? So without even doing a lot of work, it's already told you, right, the combined totals, right? It tells you um, right there you have the rows. Now notice in the, in the first column, the A and the B column, right? So it corresponds to your right. You see on the right side, you have this panel that says people table fields, the different fields. So um, right, on the on the right on the on your right hand on your right right hand side, uh, if you drag down the uh, the the drop down, no no not that the uh, options just scroll down, you're right there. So you see it selects states because basically what it's done for you is it has grouped together the states. So in that box it selects the state. Then at the bottom of the screen. I mean, sorry, it selects state and annual salary. So basically that's your, that's your grouping sort of, right? It groups those two fields, okay? Kind of like your filter, but you know, probably more efficient here. It groups your state and it groups your annual salary. Now at the bottom of the screen, same right side, you have rows, you have values. Right. So when you look at rows, you see it has grabbed the state row and to the right of it, it has summed the annual salary. So it's saying grab all the states, right? And to the right side, give me the sum of the annual salary. So if I move this to city, then I could find, I used to have to do this where they'd tell me every county in New England and how much they bought. I didn't know how they did exactly. it. I, I could go in and fill it in, but I didn't know how they came up with the formula. Yeah, so I wanted you to move this to as much detail. You. Okay. You can go to as much detail as you need. I mean, if you want to, if you want to uh, group, you know, people by their higher dates, for example, right? Right. You can go back to that. Go back to your right side. Right in here. And go up. Let's go up all the way up to the top. So let's say we want to know um, higher date. Let's let's grab higher date. So on 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 check the uh, state box. Okay. So what I want to know is higher date. So now you see the higher date. It breaks it down for you um, by quarters. Uh, annual salary. So you can see here, 1998. Everyone who's hired 1998, it tells you what they're paid. Everyone who's hired in 20, you know, 2001, 2010. So with just a few, and then it tells you less than 1998, it gives you the number. So in just a short, you know, a few short clicks, right, um, Daniel? In just a few short clicks. It gives you a lot of information, right? That it might take you a lot of time to start sorting. You go to your filters and you filter down here and filter down here. So basically people, I think the pivot uh, tables gives you a great summary of, you know, literally whatever you're looking for. And then when you go into that, to the left side, for example, let's look at 2010. 2010 to the left side, if you click on the plus sign, there's a little plus symbol there, yep. Okay, now it gives it to you in quarters, right? So it looks like people who were hired in 2010 were only hired in the third quarter. 
if you open up the top quarter, well, only so it tells you in this data, well, in 2010, we only hired people or a person in July. If you compare that with, say, 2000 and, uh, 20, 2009, 2009, for example, we hired people in three quarters, right? And it tells you the months that, you know, when they were hired. Right, so it doesn't matter how much your data is, you might have thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions. Pivot tables um, do a good job of extracting the you know data you need immediately, giving it to you in a way that makes a lot of sense. But you have to input it all first, not for it to come up here, right? You have to input what? All this information has to be inputted in the beginning in order to sort it, right? You mean you have to have the data is what yeah. you mean? Yes. Of course. I mean. Is <laughs> that um, going to just randomly pick it out for me? From where? <laughs> no, I know. That's what I'm <laughs> you, you have to have data for you to work with, right. right? No, I know. Yeah. So if you have data to work with, then uh, people tables go in there and do a good job of giving you the, you know, like right to the, you know, minutest detail, right, in a way that, you know, you can use that information for stuff. It's great for forecasting. So, you know, you sold more in a certain month. You know that whoever your recruiter was did a better job in 1998, 99 than he did in whatever other year. Well, yeah. Maybe those are the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right. Awesome. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's look at Elsa. Elsa, let's see, let's see yours. Yes. Um, let me, I don't have options to share screen today again. I don't know what's going on. Why not? Oh, man, Elsa, your thing but goes let back me, and forth. Back let and me forth. open the link in, in the Google Chrome because I didn't open in Google Chrome today. Um, hold on a little bit, please. Um, okay, no problem. Yeah, one, one, tire. Okay. Um, tire, okay. This one, okay. Um, op open, cop, copy the link. Okay. Um, uh, it's on login. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Do well, I wait for Elsa? Okay. Uh, um, Michelle, how do you do with it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Did it make oh sense to you? Let me go. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to go zoom. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, um, command CV. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Okay, La, open Zoom OS. Okay, yeah, okay, passcode. Let me copy the passcode. Uh, the one, okay, command C. Sorry, if I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, let me see. It's okay, that. no problem. Okay, where, where I am right now? Oh my God. Ah, okay. Uh, launch the meeting, open Zoom. I say I'm already in Zoom. Okay. Mm, hello. Any. Print. Do you want me to share? Yeah, command V. Okay. I think I'm here right now. Yeah, now I can share my screen. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, no thanks. Okay. Uh, I'm two sessions. I think if you can. Just, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, once I know where you're sharing, then I can, I can um, okay. take the other one out. Okay, I uh, share. Maybe you should have just changed the name a little bit. Uh, 
but it's okay. Keep going. Uh, why is not looking here? They show me option to share. Again. Okay, I think Elsa, I think I'll pull up I'll pull up what you have. I'll pull up your email, okay. right? I think you you can pick let, let me leave for one. Yeah, I'll pull up the email. So just remove yeah, yeah, I'll pull up the email. Okay. So uh Michelle, let's see what you got. Um So, I'm. Can, can you see it? Not yet. Now? No, you're not sharing yet, Michelle. Okay. All right, hold on a second. Okay, share screen. Oh. Okay, we got it. So now I saw um, Dan's. Now I'm confused. I thought we were supposed to do the same one that they did. You did on the video. No. Um. Yeah, but then there's the questions that are attached to that, right? Yeah, those I lost. So I have to type up another Word document because I didn't save it. What do you mean you lost? My, my computer shut off when I was doing it. Um, so I didn't save it. I lost it. And I was just typing it up in the Word document. Well, that's the answers, right? Huh? The answers, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I can so do it. Yeah. But to type it up on the Word document, um, I have to retype it. Okay. Um, well, that's not a problem. That's not a yeah. problem. I guess the important thing is, um, were you able to solve the problem? Like, able to yes. figure, out, figure out how to do it? Yes. It took me a few times, and I had to go back to the video quite a few times. But, um, yes. Because I forgot it, I right, kept I, the drop down the boxes. Data. Huh? Can you pull up that information, the data? If you have it saved there, yep. No, it's, it's Microsoft, it, it's probably here if you click on file in Excel, if you open it recently, it should be there. So just go to file and open recent to something. Open. So is it here? Well, I don't see it here. So maybe you want to browse for, where did you have this? Did you download it and save it? No, because I was on, what do you mean? So the data, the data that we're trying to analyze, right? Yeah, no, that was on that the, um, that was on the canvas. Okay, you didn't save the, you didn't save the data on your computer. Well, I downloaded it. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, sure. All right, so can you download it again? Hold on. I don't know how to do it when I'm sharing the screen. I was on. Hold on. Yeah, let's go to a different tab. Yeah, you can click on that tab there. Right here. All right, so click on download to your top right. No, no, right there in, no, right, come down a little bit. There's a download, no, come down. In that, on that black. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. 
is downloading on your bottom bottom left. I already had it downloaded. Mm -hmm. No, it's the other one. Oh. What did I download? All right, so you want, you want to click on uh, enable editing at the top, on that top yellow bar. Enable, nope, right there. Okay, and then you probably want to save, you know, save it on your computer so that when you're doing your work, uh, you know, you have it saved in a spot where you can find it. What are you looking for now? I can leave it right here. Right? Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, yes. so I don't. So now we saved. I don't think you saved it before. You just maybe just downloaded it and closed the file. That's what I'm saying. I lost it. I didn't save it. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, that was the problem. I, I was working on it and then I didn't, I've never saved it. Um which was my bad. I mean, I was working on it and my computer died and it never saved. Okay, so the second question, how do you solve the second question? The second question you can, was- If you um, go back to Canvas, if you go back to Canvas, you see the second question there. Just minimize this window or at the bottom of your screen is actually open, right? Your Chrome. Right. Yeah. Um, so click there. Okay, so just um, hit the back button. Hit the back button. All right. No, the that's it right there. That's it right there. Microsoft Excel assignment, Michelle. That's it right there. No. Yeah. Oh, up there. Sorry. Um, so the second question is, what is the total annual sum of people hired after one one twenty one? Okay, so now I can go back in. Um, bottom of your screen, bottom of your screen, bottom of your screen. Just go to your Excel sheet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, everything so you open on your computer, Michelle. Everything you open on your computer always kind of rests at the bottom of your screen. So once you hover. You can always pull it up from the bottom of your screen. Right. Um, so filter. Um, sorry. And filter. And select, um, No, I just hit the wrong filter. Wait, how did I do this now? Hold on. One was it one one twenty one. So one, one, Wait, what 2010. Did, I can't, hold on one second. How did I do this? This is what I'm saying. I have to go back and forth and do it like a million times. So, and then I went sort by date. Right, and then, okay. No, not higher date. Yeah. Um, I 
No. Oh wait, one one twenty one. Just go down to the bottom of your screen, pull up the pull up canvas again, and just be sure. At the bottom of your screen, just leave that open. Go to the bottom and verify that right there. Oh, 2010, sorry. Um, Wait, so it was eighteen. You, no, no, Michelle, go back to that um, high, to that filter box you were just doing. No, go back to that filter box in the higher date, the drop down. Yeah, click on click on click on it. So. What do you select oh, in there? You more. have. I'm trying to figure out what are you trying to, what you know, what there's are you trying 2010. to do? 2010. Well, what's the question? Hold on, I got to go back to it again. I know. I'm so sorry. I should write this down because, oh, there's my. How did I get that? Hold on. See, this is me trying to figure out when I do this. And this is like back and forth, back and forth. This is what I do. I eventually get it, but. Well, that happens. I just want to, yeah. just want to be sure. What's the question, first of all? Okay. The question is, what is the total annual salary of people hired after 1-1-2010? All people hired after that date. So, all right, so 2010, oh, after 2010, okay. Michelle, you're not, Michelle, I need, I need to take your time, be patient. You need to scroll down all the options and be sure that everything is cleared. There are a lot of options there, all many years you haven't looked at. Scroll all the way down, be sure everything is all taken care of. Okay. The total annual salary is uh, 397,595. Wait, 3333. Yes. Okay. And I can't remember if I got that or not. Probably not. Why do you say probably not? I can't remember if I got that or not. Okay, but is that, is that the way to get it? Yes. Yeah, because you did the right thing. First up, the first thing you did was you filtered, which makes sense. Right. I mean, sorry, you sorted. You sorted, which makes sense. Because if you didn't sort, um, it, it, you know, the filters don't sort for you. So you have to sort. So everything is kind of like, um, you know, kind of categorized in a sense. Like you have mm -hmm. all the dates, you know. Um, and then the filters will work. But if you don't feel if you don't do that first, and that's a critical first step for you to do the sorting. And then the rest of uh, Excel kind of takes over when you do the filters. And as long as you select the right options and you check the right boxes and stuff, your results should be accurate. Mm -hmm. So it only comes from not selecting the right, you know buttons on everything and all your data goes wrong. So imagine if it was your job 
and you were handling payroll and you had to send a bonus to everyone who was hired after that date. Well, you have to know what are these guys earning and let's say the bonus was 10% of what their total earnings was. Well, if you select the wrong buttons, you're gonna underpay some people or overpay. Right. And then you might be having conversations with your boss. It depends on the nature yeah. of the conversation. They're not gonna be happy at all. So, so the guys who got overpaid, well, won't, won't complain, but the guys who didn't get paid at all will be like, what is happening? You know, so even with technology, um, we've still got to have a lot of concentration and be precise, right? When we're clicking and moving stuff around. All right, so let, I'm going to take a look. Let's pull up Elsa's work and okay. let's see Elsa, the last question there. Let's see how you did okay. that. Um... Let me see if it's uh, there. Let me just pull it up here. Uh, I, I'm trying to share. Okay. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, wow. Yeah. Elsa, you work miracles. Yeah. It's not, I, I did not use, um, okay. I think it's not good because I did a highlight a lot, I think. That's for uh, the well, first the, question. The is coming. Hang on. It's not sharing yet. Let's just wait a second for that. Okay, sorry. Do it again. Do the sharing again. Oh, okay. 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 I did. Um, that's the first uh, task to everyone that's from Massachusetts. No, let's, no, let's look at the third. The third question. The third question is going to be what. Quincy, um, let me get the third question here. All right, so third question is, how many people earn between $10,000 and $30,000? I should share it, okay, let me... No, you're sharing, you're sharing already. So how did you solve that question or that okay. problem? Um, how many people are earning between 5,000, I mean, between 10,000 and 30,000? Okay, 10, and that's the last one, okay. 10, 30 to, uh, no, 10. 10,000 to okay, 30,000. Okay, 10,000 to 30,000. Okay. Um, I go to annual salary. Where's the last? Okay. Let me see if I can, I can change it. Um, I go to sort filter. Uh, um, smallest um, uh, to largest. To largest, I think that. Um, then, no, that's, that's not the one, the 10,000, that's it, Massachusetts, they have people with more than, than 30,000 a year. So what are you, but, wait, undo what you just did, undo what you just did, Elsa. Okay. Hit the undo button. Okay, I did. So if you want to sort a field or a column, mm -hmm. you have to select that field. So you didn't select any field. Yes. So, this so one. just click on the column, the column letter. No, just click on the letter. Okay. Just click on K, on letter K. Let me use the, the key. No, no, no. Oh escape, hit escape, hit escape. Okay, okay, okay. Click on the letter K, Elsa. Yeah, I did. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I did, K. Okay. But I, I'm in Mac. No, 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 no. Click on the, the, the field, the, not on your keyboard, on the field. Ah, okay, 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 I did. So undo what you just did and then click on the field. Okay. Okay. All right, so you want to sort that column, right? Is that what you want to do? Mm-hmm. 
So now go to sort and filter. Then the smallest to largest. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yes. And then All I right, can so what else? Uh -huh. then I can see who uh, then I can go to filter. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I think so. Uh, so now yes. click away from the click any blank space. Okay. I okay. Do. Yeah. Um, then filter, I do go to filter and then I check the box that go to 10,000, only 10,000 to 30,000. Uh, 10,000, 16,000, 21, 25, 26. I don't see any water, water box. And then That's I it. do. Let's click away from there. Close that box. Click on the X to close that box. No, no, that box, the filter box. Ah, OK. Okay, so let's see what you got here. Um, so you got, so you have four, five people, right? Mm -hmm. And you have, so the question is, uh, how many people? So the answer is what? How many people earn between 10 and 30,000? Five six, people, right? Six. Uh, can I got my glass a little bit? Sorry, I, I haven't got sure. my glass. Okay, sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, it's just five people. Same thing as what Daniel told us earlier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, this five. Yeah, there are five people. Yeah, it's five people exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um. So clear the filter, go back to uh, sort of filter. No, 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 no. Okay, oh. well, sure, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. All right. So could you zoom in on your screen a little bit, bottom right, just click on the plus sign. Okay. No, just click the plus sign, it's easier to manage when you click the plus sign. Okay, okay. Oh my God. So we, need to, we need to see everything. Uh, okay, plus. Click the minus sign, click the minus sign to make it smaller. Click, click, click. I don't know why. Okay. But it's not. Drag the arrow, drag the arrow, drag the uh, horizontal scroll bar and scroll I to did. the left so we can see all the information. I did. I'm doing, but it's not no. going. Elsa. Oh. You see, when you click on the screen, you can move the screen to the left. Mm -hmm. the, the, right there, right there. Yes, see I that see bar? what you there mean. You okay. okay, 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 sorry. More or it is okay? Well, that's the first color. First color means first name, right? Yes. Is there something else? Is there something else before the first name? Yes, I Yeah, did. there's something else there. Okay. All right, so now click on the minus sign to make it a bit smaller on the minus sign. Okay. It's not going. Why is that not working? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, just drag, drag that drag that little thing there. Yeah, make it a bit smaller. I did, I put 10 percent, but it's not going. I don't know why. Click on the screen, click on the screen. Click on the screen. Okay. Now click the minus sign. Okay. Click the plus sign. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, that's fine. Okay. okay. So let's look at something else here. Um, so we have a total of about what? Uh, 14, 15 people in this data, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, now, let's say we want to, 
Uh, want to do what now? You know what? Let's get. Let me. We're gonna get another another file. Let's get another file. This one. You know, we can do a bit more work with another file. So, uh, go to your uh, browser, Elsa. Mm hmm. Yeah, I am. Go to your go to your browser. Um, I should use the um google or what i should use it doesn't matter just go to your browser any browser google chrome whatever you have okay. at the bottom um, there. i am okay let me go to google chrome yep okay okay i can't see it because you're not sharing that you should share your entire oh, screen oh it's it's saying i'm sharing i don't know why you're sharing one oh, okay window. new share one okay 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 screen. sorry uh okay i'm here okay okay great so yeah go to your chrome yeah let's go let's go to that uh, media 15 live so just type media m-e-d-i-a oh, okay. media okay. okay not a search it's not a search just type it up there in the in the address bar okay um media mm -hmm. okay that's it that's the whole thing yeah just hit enter okay okay so let's grab another file here uh let's say number 12. let's grab number 12. Mm -hmm. okay so uh, click on the screen. No, no, don't just click on the screen, Elsa. Okay, I did. Okay, now click the plus sign to make it bigger at the bottom, bottom right. A bit more. Okay, stop. All right, let's go to the top here. All right. So this data, we have um, data for, if you look at it, we have date, we have region. Yes. We have the rep, the represent, uh, representative, the item, units, unit cost. So basically it looks like a sales, um, kind of like a sales report, right, Dan? A sales report of all these reps working in all these different regions. Apparently these are different regions in Canada, right? Mm -hmm. If you've been to Canada, just up up north, depends on which way you go. If you go Boston, uh, Vermont, takes you about seven and a half hours. Okay. Um, then you got in your truck and got got up north. Yeah, it would be good a good trip. <laughs> Dan, did you go up there? You're muted. Yes, I go up north. You, you've been up. You've been up to Canada, right? Yes. Oh wow! Where'd you go exactly? Well, my bachelor party was actually in Montreal. Really? Okay. All right. So we all have ago. all these reps. Say that again. I said that was a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Yeah. Okay, so you have all these reps, and now they have sales for different days, right? And um, so they they have all kinds of items they're selling: binders, pencils, um, all kinds of stuff. And the units, you, the units that they sold, and you know how much it is that they sold. So uh, we're looking at. Like the first line there, we have Thompson, uh, mm -hmm. Rep Thompson, who sold in the Alberta region, mm -hmm. uh, sold binders, mm -hmm. sold five binders at a unit cost of $18.38 and a total of 140. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so Elsa, double click in that G2. G2. Okay. That is G3. One, two. Oh. Ah, okay, see, I G2. Got okay, sorry. Okay. That's a quick question. Does that sorry. math not look right? Five times 1838 is not 100, right? Is that including tax or something? Say that again? Well, five times 18, 50, 50, 90, and then five times 38 is uh, 9150 and 40 cents, 90. It's like $92, not 100. Wow, your math skills are like through the roof. I couldn't do that. I need a calculator for that. <laughs> but if you look at it, right? Okay, so the problem we have here is whatever the totals are, we don't even know if they're right or wrong, but there's no formula. It's just whoever created this just put the totals in there. There's no formula to give us the totals. Right? So we have to put a formula in there for the right total. Okay. So Elsa, uh, Elsa, delete what you have for that $100 and four cents. Yes. Okay, so what's the correct formula to get a total? Um, I go to E. Some. What are you doing over there? You're not adding anything. You're trying to multiply, right? Ah, okay, okay, yeah. You are right. So I do. So type it in. Okay. Uh, will be e uh, two e two. Uh, but before in I should put some with s e u um m. S U M. Um, I think this one E two times where's time times um, F two. F two. So um, you're missing something before the sum. No, no, no parents. No. Before the sum, you're missing something. The most important thing before the sum. Uh, equal. Yeah, what is that? Equal. Equal sum. Exactly. Equal. No. I put wrong. Equal. You enter. Enter. Okay. So then it was absolutely on point, Mr. It's the math brain. <laughs> okay, so now we have the correct formula for G2. So now we have to apply it all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. So how do you apply it? Click on G2. Okay. Now place your mouse in the bottom corner, the bottom corner, bottom right, right there, Click and drag it all the way down. Keep go, keep going. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, wait. <laughs> Elsa, come on. You got to start over again. I'm now leave. you've lost everything. Uh, now you're in big trouble. I don't think I lost. Hit, hit undo. Okay. Okay. Well, you can keep going. Well, you can t send it all the way back. Okay. You gotta be you just gotta take it slow when you're going slow till the end. All right. Yep. 
So it's okay. So click away from there. I can hit the escape key or something. Oh. All right, now click on um, the last one. Let's verify the last one is good. Double click in, in there. Okay, so Psalm E167. Mm -hmm. Yep. So hit the escape key. So yeah. So now we've applied the formula. Just hit escape key. F. Escape. Escape. Um, escape. Escape key. F key, key. I don't know. This key right here. Ah, escape. okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Escape. Come on, Elsa. Oh, I did wrong. Pick escape. Escape. Yeah, I did escape. Yeah, that's it. When okay. you double click in a formula, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to okay. do anything. That's it. Okay. It's fine. Okay. When you double click in a formula and you see all those marching ants, mm -hmm. the way to get out of there is to hit escape. Oh. If you move your mouse around, Excel is going to go totally mad. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So once you click in a formula, just hit escape to kind of cleanse yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> to just get out of there. Okay. Okay, so here's a question um, for you guys with this data. Uh, let's say, let's say, okay, which rep? So I want us to look at this data, uh, Michelle. Which rep sold the most? So, which rep sold the data? So which rep sold the most? Um, I'm going to say, um, Jared. No, I, don't want you to, I, don't want to do, I don't want you to just look at it visually. I want you to solve it accurately. Oh, um, I would go what? to, um, all right, I would Elsa, click go on up, C. Go all the way up. Um, actually, yeah, go all the way out. I would, I would click on um, G and sort um, filter. And then go um, down and uh, no, that's not going to work. Uh, I would just go to the highest number. Um, the question is, which rep sold the most? You know, they all have pieces of, they all have items, line items, you know, each sale. Each record there is a oh, sale. Unit okay, so units. Okay, I'll go to units. So scratch that. So units. And um, go to um, sort. Um, Sort smallest to largest. Sort. And go all the way down. Um, or just hit. Um, yeah. yeah, I guess you could filter it. Hit sort and filter. Oh, filter. Well, I guess you really don't have to It'd be the last one, smallest to largest. Yeah. So and then just look all the way down. Oh, wait. Look, I have to do another one because then it would be. 
Um, You're trying to find the red that's had the most sales in this report. The most sales, so not the most units, so most money, basically. Well, same thing. I mean, you've got yeah. the units, you've got the unit, you've got, uh, sorry, you've got the uh, items, you've got, so you've got the quantities, you've got the unit cost, and then you've got the totals. So basically, which rep made the most money? Okay, yeah, all right, sales. so I'll try it the first time. All right, so go to the What should I do? Go to G. G. Yeah. And then go to sort. Or just to smaller. So that would be. Um, Jardine. Ontario. What? Jardine from in Ontario. How do you know that? Because the totals. But totals of what? What's the totals? What's the total, for example, what's the totals for Jardine and what's the oh, total for- 94 units. Okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't looking at the whole equation. Oh, all right, so we have to multiply. Okay, I got it. So multiply um, E, all right, do E2. Wait, I wait, mean... wait, Michelle, slow down. What, what? Tell us your thought process here. How are you trying to determine which rep had the most sales? So we're First gonna have to all, do, but you gotta that know, is- You gotta know what each rep you, you got to know all the totals for each rep, isn't it? That is, we got the totals, right? That, that says total. Michelle, each line is a total for one item. So, for example, the top item there um, on oh, the, uh, on 12, 4, oh, oh. 12, 4, 12, 4, 20, 20, 20, 2006. Okay, Jardine I'm sorry. sold. 94 units that's the total oh, on I the same you. day she sold again on the 5th of october she sold pencils that's the total um then that, so those are just unit for you know each sale that was made maybe I, she travels I over here yeah. i understand she travels now, yeah. over there she goes to this school she sells some she goes to this store she sells some she goes to this supermarket like, she sells some like this is like being on Wheel of Fortune. It's easy when you're home by yourself and you're doing it and you can actually think, but like, you know, when you're on television, you know, you get a little flustered. Not that it's not hard so, enough when I'm by myself. <laughs> so Michelle, tell um, us, have you been on Wheel of Fortune? No, I've just watched and it's very easy <laughs> from home, but you know, it's not so easy when they're doing it, you know, on TV. Live. Um, Okay, so um, I go to C, go to C. And we are going to um, go to sort. From um, custom sort. Um, yes, sort. Oh, sort by, all right, that's not gonna work. Go to, okay, go to, um, sorry, go to sort. Oh, custom sort, no, filter. And then go over there. Oh, there's no drop down. I don't know. I can't think right now. This is not working for me. <laughs> Just okay. Uh, let's call Mr. Let's call the the math wheels to help us out here. 
But Daniel, what do you think is, what are we doing wrong here? We want to figure out the, the rep with the most sales. Right. Make the most money. Well, I guess listen by name, but he has all of, uh, he listed by name and then sort how much he sold by adding them all up for, for his name and by other name. Because you have Jardine, but he's also down at the bottom. If you look at 680, he sold all those pencils and he sold the binders. So if you sorted it by name, then at least you could add up from column one through whatever and do it that way. I'm sure there's a different way, but so if you went to C and sorted it by name, yeah, sort A to Z, just right up top. Oh, so A to Z. That's what I was doing wrong. Oh, and it puts them all together. Damn it. And then you just, you, I guess you'd have to add A to whatever. I'm sure this, I don't, I don't know that formula because we didn't do it, but I, I would just, I would just type from one down, like 2G, right there would, he, would be 2G plus. Here I should down. add. Oh, there's got to be a way to sum from that all the way down to the end of his name. So scroll down. Scroll down, Elsa. Stop. So place your mouse on 26. Place your mouse on 26. Right click and hit enter. Insert, I mean. 26, 26, Elsa, 26. Okay. Insert. All right, so going, going by your thinking, uh, Dan, uh, right there in G26, you can put the total there. You can do that for each of the different right. summaries, right? I should add the formula? Just add sum. Okay. So, and we'll be... Um, can, can you just click on the sum button and without putting the formula in there if it's just going to be some of that line or no? Can you highlight it and then hit sum? So. Like we highlighted the whole thing. That oh. row, that right row. Let me go back. Right hey. No, if you if you start at the top and click down to the and then hit okay. sum. Okay. G. Okay, I'll just stop. So right now, you selected all this data, but you didn't select where you want Excel to put the answer in. Mm. Mm. You're making a mistake that way. Go and select again. Don't drag that way. You're not, don't drag. You're trying to select, not drag. Okay. So go to your fault. selection again. I don't again. know either. Ah, okay. Yeah, you see, there's a difference. Stop, stop. Okay. There's a difference uh, between selecting and applying. For example, if you want to select, you just click and pull down. If you want to apply, you click, you go to the bottom right-hand corner of what you clicked, and then you drag down. That's the difference. So if you want to just select, Elsa, go all the way to the top. Let me only put the, okay. The, okay. So um, click yeah. in G2. Now, don't go to the corner. Just stay where you are. Click there. Now keep coming down. That is how to select. Click down and keep coming down. You see that? That is to select. It just selects that group of uh, cells. Mm-hmm. You have to select all the way to the empty box. Okay. Okay, now let it go. So basically what you're doing now is you're telling Excel, do the sum and put it in that blank box. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't 
make a blank box available, Excel is just going to not know what to do. You might just delete a row so you can put the answer in there. So go to sum and just hit sum. Now you can see what happened there. It put it there because you, you created the spot for you to put it in there. Now click away from there. Now you see there's a triangle in there, a green triangle. It's asking you a question. So click in the green, click in that box. Now click in that triangle, you know, the pop out to your left. Okay, now it's asking you a few things. It says, um, you see, Excel knows that you have numbers, Michelle, you have numbers above and beneath or, you know, above and below, right? Mm -hmm. And it's thinking that something is wrong. Like, you know, why are you doing this math right in the middle of all this data, right? So if you think that you're, that's what you want to do, then just hit escape. It, no, but you want to. So move, your mouse away from, move your mouse away from there and then hit escape. I did, but it's not going anywhere. Click on the screen, click on the screen. Now hit escape, okay, there you go. So, so you know what you want to do is fine. You're trying to, you know, you want to get the uh, sum total of each of the reps. So you go down to Gil, and then you insert a line at the bottom of Gil. Oh, it's 62. Hmm. You have to click on 62. Okay. So now, all right. So now I want, now I want all three of you to figure out how we get a total this time. It's going to be a bit, okay, I'm just going to allow you. So I'm going to count to 30 seconds. Can't you just do um, equal? Um, equal sum. Um, where's Gil start? Um, 20 seconds. You C, want all right, C27 plus C61. Ten seconds left. Mm. Let's see, sixty one. Enter. Um, oh. uh, no. Mm -hmm. Why you type in C62, C27? Because that was C27 started it. Is G. Oh, G, whoops. Mm -hmm. G, sorry. G27 plus G61. That's my fault. Is that correct? No. Did you add it? I add. Yeah, but you, you only did two rows. You, you get to do G seventy one through C sixty two, I think. Because right, you have to get the, all of them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you have to do the colon, not the um plus side. There you go. 
So how can we verify that that number is correct? I don't know. Ask Rain Man. I can read it up for you real quick if you scroll up. <laughs> what? I said, ask Rain Man. And I said, if you did Elsa, it, you got store, it. I could do Elsa, it. Elsa, go mm -hmm. back to that number. Elsa, go back up. How do you know if this number is correct? Uh, because we have um, uh, 1,000. No, oh, almost 1,000 and then um, 700 and 200 and then. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? You're going, to, you're going to work it out in your mind? Come on, Elsa. <laughs> no, but so I can go here to the sum and select and see if it, why, uh, what I did is correct. What do you mean? To check so, so again, to check again. How do you check? I go this. Okay, I, I do this. Can I try to show you? Okay, I do. Sure, go ahead. Sure, sure. I go this. I this and then I come here. I do some. But that has nowhere to go, so. Mm -mm. Something wrong, I didn't know. I did a mistake, I think, because this. Uh, Mm -hmm. I did some mistake, it's not coming back. How do you get out of when you are when you couldn't a formula? What's the key you press to get out of it? Um uh A, I know, no, no, it's not. Escape. Escape, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Great. What's that key? Okay. Escape, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you trying to do, Elsa? I'm not sure what you're trying to do. I'm trying to, to, to add out um, um, the value from the 27 cells. till 62. But I did okay, not so select ahead, the, the blank. The blank. Uh, uh, so that's the, that's the mistake you made. Mm -hmm. When you select a row of cells, you have to add a blank space so that mm -hmm. Excel can put the answer in there. Mm -hmm. Now there's another way to know if you're right, um, but it's only going to work because you have you don't have a lot of information. Stop. Go back mm -hmm. up. No, 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 that's not going to work. Do it again. Go and select again, but don't select the last column. I want to show you something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop, don't click, just stop. Now, you can do this because you don't have a lot of information. If you have thousands and hundreds of thousands, this may not work, but when you select, it, when you select a group of numbers, Elsa, look on, your, on the bottom of your Excel, like to the right. You see where it says average, count, sum? Yes. Mm -hmm. I see. You see the sum? Yes. What's the sum? Seven thousand five hundred sixty-three seventy-five cents. Okay. Now is that the same thing with what you put in there? Yes. So when you select a, a a row of you know a bunch of information, maybe numbers, Excel tells you the average, tells you the count. The count means 
you selected 35 rows. Mm. And then it tells you the sum of all the rows you selected. It does that automatically. But of course, it, it's only showing you, you have, to weigh, you have to have a way of putting it in there. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like a verification. So for example, click on uh, 63, G63. Okay, bring it down to the next row. Stop. Now look over there and see the count and see the sum. Yes. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now keep dragging, keep dragging. Every time you add a new few cells, you see it adds everything automatically, right? And it counted for you. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's telling you, your, this is how many rows you have so far, and that's the sum. So when you get all the way to the end, it's going to tell you automatically, this is how much you have. But you have to have a way of putting in there yourself. Mm -hmm. Daniel, do you see that? You see that function? Mm -hmm. that does that. It, just, it gives you a snapshot. It gives you a quick snapshot of how much you have. You know, like a total. It gives you a quick snapshot. Mm -hmm. So stop. Now, what did we say about when you see this pound signs? Um, Michelle, what do you do? Um, you have to make the column bigger. Your computer has a virus. All right, so that's one way of getting um, getting the different totals is for you to, this is actually a manual way of doing it, Dan. It's a manual way of doing it, but you know, now imagine you had, uh, Dan, you worked for what, uh, John Deere, right? And you have to work out the totals for all the sales in the Northeast. Well, this will take you weeks and weeks to do, right? Right. And your boss, your boss sends you a text and says, Dan, give me the numbers by midnight. You're like, what? I can do that. <laughs> I have to do this manual process. I'm going to have my boss watch your video and figure it out on its own, I think. <laughs> well, what's good is the average part. So you can just scroll down while you're talking to someone and say, you know, you're averaging $200 a sale without even pulling it up just because you have a little cheat sheet on the side, not at the bottom. Well, you've got to tell your boss, uh, we've got to call Professor Banjo. He's the expert, right? We've got to pay him extra, though, but we can, he, can, he can help us out. <laughs> I like this. So when you have just a little bit of data, well, this works out, but uh, if you are dealing with lots and lots of information, uh, it's gonna be very stressful to do, but it works because, you know, we have just about what, 200, 300 records. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
um, instead of doing that, mm -hmm. give it a background color instead, because that color is too light. You can't really see it. Okay. To undo that, you might want to give it a background color instead. Okay. So choose the other option. The background color, the paint, the paint bucket. The other one. The other one. This to one. Your left, right there. Yes. Why should you fill up with the um, any color? Whatever you want. Okay. Whatever you want. Okay. No, that is, you can't even see the number there, right? You cannot see the number here? Yeah. Okay, I can change. Mm -hmm. All right, so now who's the rep with the most sales? Is he the last one? Or is there one more? No, he's the highest seller. Yes. Uh, Jardine. Yes. It's what I said. <laughs> oh, really? Said oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's Michelle, that that's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. So now uh hit on do uh Elsa, undo, like, you just keep going, undo, undo, undo. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. All right. Okay. Now, I take out the filter there. No, delete the filter, just delete it. Go to sort and filter and Clear the filter. You have to click in there. Mm. Okay. Now, click any of that data, just click in the cell. Click uh, Control A. Control A. Go to the I very bottom. Actually, I think we might have a problem because you're on a Mac. Mm -hmm. You may not do the same thing as uh, it's common, Windows, common. So I can do. Um, but I have control here, but I don't know they will be the same thing. I, yeah. Yeah, it's just because it's a Mac, but go all the way down to the bottom right and see if that little box pops up. If it does not pop up, we have to go through a different method. It doesn't pop up because it's a Mac. Mm -hmm. So go to insert all the way up, 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 insert. Mm -hmm. Go to people table to the left. Okay, so it has options for you. Um, so click on OK. All right. So now it's asking you to drop the values that you want. All right. Mm -hmm. So go to the right side and then drop down there. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to find out rep. So click on rep, the checkbox for rep. Okay, and then scroll down. In that same spot, in that same spot. Okay, sorry. To your right. Scroll down to uh, total. 
So you can see right there to your left. Now we want to get a list of we want to get a list of the reps. So um, go to go to the bottom right. Bottom right, bottom right, bottom right. So you see okay. where you have count of rep. Elsa, stop. Okay. You see where you have count of rep? Yes. So click there. Uh, right click it. Does it have a right click option? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go to field settings. Actually, that's not what we want to do. That's not what we want to do. Uh, go out of there. Okay, go back to count of rep. Now drag it to the left where you have rows because we want to see a row, the rows of, yeah, right there. Okay, so that's what we want to see. So if, to the left, you see what we just did? Mm -hmm. We want to see uh, the rows that include all the reps, mm -hmm. right? So what has happened is we have the rows for the, left, for the reps and on the right side, we have the values, the sum total of all their sales. Mm -hmm. So using the people table, you solve the same problem in like 10 seconds, Elsa. Mm -hmm. uh. Michelle, do you see that? Yeah. So it doesn't so matter just, how much data you have. Go ahead, go ahead. So we just went through all that other stuff and we could have done that in like two minutes, like a, less <laughs> than a minute? Well, uh, yes. Oh, cool. Because uh, you know, so, you know, sometimes it's good to 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 suffer so that when you get the real thing, you appreciate like, oh wow, it makes like, you 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 know, it has a greater impact, right, Michelle? It's just more data that has to fit in my head. <laughs> <laughs> if you just did it in like two seconds, you might just think, oh, that's nothing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and besides. That's what you do when you're learning something, right? It's okay to be manual. When you're learning, you're like, okay, you're trying to yeah. go baby steps. Right? Oh, I'm definitely baby so, steps. Yeah, that's perfectly right. fine. I mean, Excel is a pretty complicated program. So knowing where everything is at, um, you know, it's a little bit of work. So, so this way, People table will summarize everything for you, Dan. It summarizes everything. And you can see here, uh, you know, just by looking at the numbers, that it's back to Jardine, but, you know. Now, how about, sometimes you might want to do a chart, a chart, right? So uh, go to insert, also, insert top left. and click on charts go to recommended charts you see that go to the right side move to the right to the go to the right the right right there click on pi click on pi right there click come down to the 3 3d pi down click there you go now look oh, at that. Cool. That yeah, that is a chart, a graphic representation of your data. Um, so some people, you know, they like to see charts and stuff, right, Michelle? It's easy to understand the data. So you can see here very easily you can tell who has the most sales without looking at the actual numbers, because you can yeah. see the the pie, the biggest slice, I guess. Jardine. There you go. <laughs> so, so when you have your data all analyzed and everything, you may want to represent the data with charts, right? Um, it's a different way of presenting data. Sometimes it's easier to look at a chart and say, okay. Now let's change this chart. Uh, Elsa, go to, uh, what's it called now? Okay, delete this chart. There should be an option to change, but just delete. Click on the chart and delete or undo. Yep. Okay, let them. Okay, so go back to um, 
insert. You have different. Oh, you went too far. You went too far back. Okay, I can go. You do. Yeah. All right. So go back insert. Then go to recommended charts. Mm -hmm. Click on recommended chart. Yes. Yeah. Click there. No, click on the click on the question okay. mark. I don't know why they are showing that. Come down to where it says recommended charts. Yeah, click there. Okay. Click on um go to where you saw the pie. Mm -hmm. Click on the one at up top, up top, up top. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, select um any anyone here, like the two D two D column, the first one to your left. First to your left, top. And right there. Okay. So here's another way of looking at the chart, right? You can see to the left you have the numbers, right? Zero to twenty thousand in sales. At the bottom you have all the different names for the reps. So by looking at this chart easily, in fact, if you probably ask a a kindergartner, five year old, right, or preschooler, they can tell you who's who's the tallest, <laughs> right? Yeah. Who's the biggest? And they go and say, Oh, it's Jardine. If they can read at that age, right? I can so, honestly tell you that if I didn't know that the computer did this, I would have said I would have thought somebody like somehow drew this and I would have been like, Oh my god, how did they do this? I would have thought they did it so, in like Microsoft Word or something and like had to draw like yep. the shapes and yeah. Yep. So I had no well, idea this. That is what that is what this course offers you, right, Michelle, is to you know, to learn this kind of things. Because these things are absolutely useful on the job. Absolutely. Yeah. Very useful. Because I mean a lot of businesses is all about charts and data and you know looking right. at the data and you pull up you know pull up the chart pull up you know the report and in a quick amount of time you can get a lot done yeah so once you know once you know the tools and you know how to walk the tools um it's time to go and discuss your salary with your boss yep Okay, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, so let me give you, a, I'm going to, you know, give you some practice work for now. Let me say this. Next week, right, the whole of next week is spring break. I bring that up because Quincy College is going to be on break. But, and this is a big but, this class ends on the 21st. Like the last class is scheduled to be 21st, which is two Mondays from today, right? So if we do spring break, it means that our last class is on Wednesday. Now I'm offering to ignore spring break and do classes next week so that you have that full week, right? To do more classes. What do you guys want to do? I agree. Yeah, I don't want spring break. I don't need a spring break. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I'm up for what everyone else wants. I'm fine. I'm easy. <laughs> okay. Elsa, what do you want? I want class. I would like to have class. Okay. I need all the so your help bills I can just get. Went up. Your bills just went up. Yeah, I need all the help so I can get. Quincy doesn't pay me during the break. Just oh. don't worry about it. Just, oh, no. I'm oh, just... no, teacher. No, no, I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. No, those guys don't... no, no, no. Those guys don't pay, really. But you know what? This stuff for me is important because if you're learning stuff, I get paid in other ways. I don't care about it. Right? Oh, so, my God. Um, so the important thing is, I just want. that's why I want to bring it up right if you guys want to do it i i will do it so that we can get into this stuff a little bit more right and you know if you guys get a value out of it for me that's enough payment for me really because you okay. can go on and have more value so so i'm going to give you, you um some more practice. you're very welcome 
Good. Thank God for that. So you, I'm going to give you some more practice work. It's a lot of work, uh, but just to keep us, you know, on the right track here. So Elsa, if you look at this particular uh, document here. Yes. So you can delete this chart or undo. Just click on undo, yeah. All right, now look at the bottom, bottom left. Bottom left, you see the questions? Questions. Oh yeah, yes. Okay, click on questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So zoom in on that. All right. So it has a few questions for you. Scroll up, please. Yep. So, so the first question, we actually answered the first question, right? So you want to know rep with the most sales, rep um, region, region with the least, no, region with the least sales, sales difference in pencil and binder sales, rep Andrew's sales in 2005, and sales for units less than 50. Now, Elsa, close this document, close this Excel, because when you open it up next, it's going to have more questions for you. Right, so I'm going to go and I'm going to post the, I'm going to, I'm going to put this data on Excel for, on Canvas for you. It's going to be a few more questions there, right? Mm -hmm. so that's going to be our Excel assignment too, is to work on this more. And of course, this video is always recorded, so you can go back and, um, you know, look at things that we did, mm -hmm. right? But this is a very important tool that I want us to spend time in trying to get it. Okay, so let me, um, I'm gonna go into Canvas and I'm just gonna post that information for Excel assignment two. So give me one second. All right. Oh, where is it? All right, so let me actually, I've got to, let me stop the recording so that it can.